Today we're painting a simple harbour scene inspired by the wonderful paintings of Edward Sego and Edward Wesson. I'm using an unusual paper, it's a vintage mould made cotton paper that I purchased from the Vintage Paper Co. You can find them online. I'm using uh, wet paint on dry this time, just to sort of scrub in a wash to get a nice bright cloudy sky. I'm using ultramarine blue and Prussian blue this time. It's not quite strong enough. Oh, and now it's a bit too strong. Just take a little bit of water to it, just add it onto the paper and just push the paint around a bit, scrubbing the large oval wash brush or any kind of wash brush over the paper trying to create a sort of chaotic windswept sky look. Adding a little bit more water across the bottom just to let the paint flow down as the boards are at a slight angle so we're going to get a bit of gravity pulling some of the, the paint downwards. If we can dilute it with a little bit of clean water, then we can get that feeling of aerial perspective as it, the sky gets paler towards the horizon. I'm going to add in just a few tiny touches of raw sienna, just here and there, just to give a little bit of shape and shadow to the sky. I want to keep this quite a light, bright sky. Clean water again, just to bring the paleness down towards the horizon, just so we get a nice, soft transition from sky to sea. Dry brush of the same colours across the water just gives us a simple sea. I don't want it to be too complicated. This is a sky painting rather than a sea painting. Just take out with a tissue a tiny bit of the moisture just to control it and keep a nice pale transition between the horizon and the sea. Next I'm going in with the same colour as the sky but nice and pale with the number six round and I'm just going to stroke it delicately across where I want my horizon to show either land or the harbour wall little gap near the middle for the boats to go in and out. It's nice and simple but I just want to soften it a little tiny bit with a damp brush across the bottom just so that it's not too much of a hard line against the horizon. <coughs> Excuse me, got a bit of a cough and a cold at the moment. Add in a little tiny bit more detail, dry brush detail to the sea. Just to bring a little bit more of the sky colours into it. Now I've got a number one rigger, I think it is, and I'm going to put in a couple of boats on the left hand side. One side facing, one front facing. It's a bit awkward trying to paint these as I'm stretching around the camera. But we'll do our best, we'll see what happens. It should be alright. struggling a little bit here. It 
shouldn't have tried to paint the reflections in quite so quick. Let's sort that out. Just going to darken up the hull of this boat a little bit more. And we'll do a second boat which is going to be front facing. Right, I'm going to concentrate a little bit more now and try and get try and get the mast in in a minute and I'll be using light red for any sails. Just bring down a little bit more of a reflection. dark at the moment that reflection but it doesn't matter there's still work to be done on it right time for the mast oh, I think that rig is a bit big I think we're gonna have to get a smaller rigger There it is. That's better. It's a Pro Art, I think, zero size rigger. It's a lovely brush. couple of masks in on that second boat. And then light red for the sails. Just put in the sail outline roughly. the sails out for this horizontal boat but for the front facing boat I think it would be quite nice just to have the sail tied up I'm sure there's a proper word for it stowed I'm not sure <laughs> anyway that's the look I'm going for in with the light red we just want it just to not be too perfect or too exact just nice and, and loose just to give the impression of mid-ground boats with sails the red shows up nicely against the, the blues of the sea and the sky Just pull down just a nice loose rough reflection into the water following the shape of the mast. Just finish off with a bit of rigging, just hit and miss, just loose lines. Just 
just bring down a little bit more reflection. with the rigger. And lastly, taking quite dilute mixture, watery mixture of the sky colour. Just pop in a few little dashes with masks for distant boats near the harbour wall and we're nearly finished nice easy harbour scene thank you for watching if you like this please like and subscribe many thanks see you soon